What's up everybody? It's Andy from Angry by Nature. Today we're going to talk about the top 12 Sydney activities with kids. And also stay tuned for our money saving tips and tricks. If you haven't already, subscribe to our channel and hit that notification bell to follow our smart family travel guides. So, without further ado, let's get into it. What do you think, Fly? What do you think? <laughs> sea Life Sydney. Divided up into 14 different theme zones, you're sure to have a fantastic time with the fam. Exhibits include Dugong Island, Shark Valley, Jurassic Seas, Discovery Rock Pool, and the newest and largest in the world, the Great Barrier Reef exhibit. So this right here where we're at now is the amazing new exhibition at Sea Life in Sydney which is day and night at the Great Barrier Reef. So it takes you through different times of the day where you can experience what it would be like at the Great Barrier Reef through to the corals that glow at night and the jellyfish that you can see. It's a really interactive experience using state-of-the-art technology. The kids are loving it, the glowing jellyfish and the glowing reefs and obviously the Dorian Nemo, all the tropical fish, so this is really ah! awesome to see. Sydney Zoo. Learn all about Australian wildlife in this interactive and educational zoo. Wildlife Sydney Zoo exhibits all of Australia's iconic animals such as kangaroos, wallabies, crocs, butterflies and koalas. The coolest thing about the wildlife zoo is that they run a daily koala breakfast. So you can actually come to the zoo, get a morning tour before it even opens and have breakfast surrounded by koalas and the best part you get to even go inside the enclosures and get up close and personal and snap some selfies with them i can't imagine breakfast another way Ooh, you're going <laughs> <laughs> your turn <laughs> See all your favourite stars in this interactive celebrity wax figure museum. Take photos, make funny faces, sing with your favourite musicians and even help out superheroes in their new exhibit that includes DC Comics Justice League. The boys were just in awe at seeing Batman in person. Also seeing mum help out Superman lift up a helicopter. A really great addition to the museum you can't miss out on.
access to view Sydney in a 360 degree tower, which is the second tallest in the Southern Hemisphere. The tower is 309 meters tall. The observation deck is a little bit lower at 250 meters high, which is still, still very, very high. We were lucky to go up on a clear sunny day and the view was absolutely stunning. So guys, we've got a great money saving tip for these four attractions that we've just mentioned. Sea Life, Sydney Wildlife Park, Madame Tussauds, and the Sydney Tower Eye. Make sure to check out the attraction pass that is available for all four, which can save you up to 55% on your entry fee. The pass allows you priority entry, and also you can use it within 30 days. So you can use it all in one day, or you can spread it out over 30 days. These passes can be found at each of these locations' own website. bad right now because this tortoise right here is doing a perfect clean eating diet which is what we are incapable of it's got kale broccoli carrots celery leaves things that I don't even know of in my diet this guy's eating right here, and that's all they eat and he grows to that size like Andy drinks all these protein shakes and like eats like three steaks and he's still not that size hey. <laughs> One of Sydney's most popular attraction, and I have to tell you, it is really justified. An action-packed zoo with lots of animals and lots of different exhibits to see. And you get a beautiful view of Sydney. It's one of the best zoos we've ever been to. Female tiger at Taronga Zoo just gave birth to triplet cubs, which you can come and see at Taronga Zoo at the end of March in 2019. is part of the Museum of Applied Arts and Sciences. Put simply, a technology museum. This covers all sorts of different technology from past, present and future. It's very hands-on and a lot of awesome tech for your kids to enjoy. Everyone will have a fun time there. Coastal Walk, an absolutely breathtaking walk along the eastern coast of Sydney that stretches for six kilometers. You'll come across amazing views, golden beaches, 
parks, sandstone cliffs, bays and rocks, as well as many eateries and hotels. So something to keep in mind is there are quite a few stairs, so you may need to bring your carrier with you. I wouldn't recommend bringing the pram. super fun place to visit in Sydney is Luna Park. It's free to enter and if you want to go on rides it does depend on your height so it varies from $25 to $55. We highly recommend coming here, the kids love it. Also make sure to check opening times for Luna Park as it's not open every day. Darling Harbour Playground and the Chinese Friendship Garden. One of the best public playgrounds we've ever been to. There are balance ropes, big and small slides, a giant multi-directional swing, plenty of regular swings, climbing nets, huge water play area, and even a 21 meter long flying fox that Flo couldn't get enough of. And then to wind down, take a walk around the Chinese Friendship Garden and soak in Chinese heritage and culture. I'm like more of a danger on this than Rafi. <laughs> Another great playground to burn your kids' energy is the Ian Potter's Children Wild Play Garden. It's action-packed with adventurous play. It has lots of physically challenging activities. Your kids can spend hours there. There is also a great water play area for the warmer days. It's free to enter and open between 10 a.m. and 5 p.m. It's located at the Centennial Park, which is also a great place to relax. Botanical Gardens. The Sydney Royal Botanical Garden is situated right next door to the Sydney CBD. It's a nice escape from the hustle and bustle of the CBD to enjoy a wonderful park scenery. The garden is humongous. It's 30 hectares in size with lots of different unique plants, trees and flowers. Check out the Calyx, I think that's how you say it, which has food, shopping and lots of different exhibits to see. For example, they currently have plants that bite. Now that sounds really interesting, but just unfortunately we didn't have enough time to check it out. Final tips, accommodation. For a cost-effective and convenient location towards the north end of Sydney, 
we will highly recommend the Glen Ferry Lodge. It's very close to the Taronga Zoo, Luna Park, Sydney Harbour Bridge and to the ferries. It's very kid friendly, has a great breakfast selection and they even have a little playground in the backyard. Sometimes you do want to spoil yourself or share a large place with another family so you guys are all together on holiday. Then Sydney East Luxury Apartment is your best option for that. Fantastic views of the Sydney Harbour Bridge and the CBD on the humongous balcony. Large dining and living area with three bedrooms and two bathrooms. It's located in a great position with public transport not far away. Getting around in transport. Public transport in Sydney is very convenient and easy to use within the CBD. Sydney is very pram friendly and everything is in close vicinity of each other. We had a car during our stay in Sydney. The roads can get quite confusing as there are a lot of one way roads. Make sure to use your GPS or Google Maps to guide you around. One wrong turn could take you about 10 minutes just to get back. So we highly recommend you use something like that. We're talking from experience here. For more discounts for attractions around Sydney, we highly recommend the Sydney Entertainment Book or the iVenture card. They have many discounts on attractions. We recommend Googling both of them to see which one suits you the best, or you can even get both if you wish. But just keep in mind, most places only take one discount at a time, so don't think you can stack them up if you have both. Sydney also has a lot of free activities to do as well. Check out the World and Us video on the free things to do in Sydney. Well guys, that's the end of the top 12 Sydney activities with kids. Please make sure to hit the like button if you found this video useful. And make sure you subscribe to our channel and hit that notification bell to follow our smart family travel guides. Now guys, comment below. We want to know, when you go to an attraction, do you like to be guided on a tour or do you want to free roam? And just check things out slowly yourselves. For us, we like to free roam as we do find it difficult to keep up with tours sometimes. And also when we're free roaming, we can just do whatever we like with the kids and they can take their time viewing things. Let us know, what do you guys like to do? Tour or free roam? Well, that's it guys. Catch you on the next video. Take it easy. Peace out. Angry, hungry. Yes, I'm angry.